Flight C Jr. here with Football Sports Network. And Antonio Brown has recently done a few interviews, one on the radio and one with the ESPN, about how he owes the NFL an apology and how he owes the team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Oakland Raiders, the New England Patriots individually, and the NFL in the whole, an apology. Now, we talk about Antonio Brown embarrassing his family, uh, basically maybe not being able to play football again. We talked, highlighted a lot of the things that he's done wrong, right? Like I, I talked about all of those things on this platform before, but I want to recognize when Antonio, I think, has done something that is acceptable, that is right. And I think issuing this apology is a step in the right direction. Now, another, there's a few other things Antonio talked about in his sit-down interview with Josina Anderson from ESPN. He talked about how uh, he he has embarrassed himself. He has done a lot of things wrong. And one one of the cool things, and I'm not going to necessarily say cool things, but it, he said that I mentioned in my previous video about Antonio was that he needs to better surround himself with guys who are doing the straight and narrow. Hmm, I wonder... I definitely said that before, right? Like I said that he needs a better circle of friends. And he essentially says the same thing. He says he needs guys around him that have just as much to lose as him and that's going to help keep him on the straight and narrow. He also talked and said that he doesn't think he has CTE. Now, granted, he is not someone... He can't diagnose himself, right? Like, and we won't ever know that until Antonio has passed away. But it is something that he made evident that, like, yo, man, I, I don't, I don't think, at least I don't think I have CTE. And he was, he was pretty confident in saying, I don't have CTE. Uh, another thing that Antonio talked about in that video, in the interview, was that. He believes that he is a product of his environment. He thinks that a lot of the reasons why he was acting out and things is because he's from Liberty City. And I, and I found that very interesting because, and I, I want to know what you guys think in the comments, uh, because Antonio has made millions and millions of dollars, right? Like he is far removed from his upbringing from Liberty City, right? Or at least I think he is, right? Like, or at least you would think that he would be far from the slums of Liberty City that grew up that made him the man he is. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely think Liberty City, being where he's from, being a late-round draft pick, going to a small school like Central Michigan, all of those made him the great receiver that he is and helped put this chip on his shoulder that he had to go out and outwork every single person. He wasn't given the body like a Julio Jones or a Odell Beckham. Antonio Brown is an undersized receiver, doesn't run a fast 40, but runs precise routes and outworks everyone that is what's beautiful about his game that is that's why a lot of people rooted for him and was in his corner because he's not the biggest guy he's not the strongest guy he's not the fastest guy but he has a mamba mentality of his own and he goes out and outworks every single player on the field and that's why i believe when he was at his height when he was on the field he was the best receiver not odell not julio not michael thomas but but like i said so uh, getting back to the point he said that the environment of Liberty City is what kept him on the defense, right? Even though he was far removed from that, even though he was worth 50, 60, 70 million dollars. And I, and I find that very interesting. Do you believe that even though a celebrity has accumulated wise, mass wealth, like this crazy amount of money that the product that they were, are they still a product, not necessarily a product of their environment, but that they still deal with some sort of anxiety or some sort of like, mental capability that brings them back to where they're from, especially if they're from a rough neighborhood or a rough upbringing. Do you think that stays with them, even though you've accumulated all this money? And I, and I, I don't know. I can't, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not someone that's educated in that realm. So that's why I'm asking you, because I, I found that very, very interesting that he reverts back to Antonio or AB from Liberty City when things don't go his way, essentially. When things kind of get tough, when things really... That, that shouldn't bother someone of his celebrity, of his status, of his wealth. He refers back to the AB that grew up in Liberty City and may do things that you wouldn't expect someone who's worth 50, 60, 70 million dollars. And I find, and that's so interesting to me. That is like so almost mind blowing. Like, wow, like you, you have beat those odds, right? Like you have overcame everything and somehow, some way, 
you still revert back to that just when things don't go your way or things um, when things are not ideal. You let me know in the comments, what do you think? Uh, I'm glad Antonio has apologized. He said the NFL has come out and said they will send him help. It hasn't happened yet. He was very clear to say it hasn't happened yet, but Roger Goodell and representatives of the NFL said that they will send him help. He's looking to get help. He's on this apology tour, and he's still waiting a decision from some of those sexual allegations that were made against him. Not only he's waiting on decisions from the court, he's got he's still got some court proceedings, but he's also waiting on decisions from the NFL. And I'm rooting for Antonio Brown, man. I really, I truly am. I truly am. I said before that I thought he was embarrassing himself. He needed to get a better group of friends. Then he was embarrassing his family. And it looks like he's making the proper steps and taking the proper precautions to, to change some of those outcomes in his life, to change some of the things that he's got going around him. But, but I do want to hear what you guys have to say about the, the environment that you grow up in. Can it still affect you even when you're worth 50, 60 million dollars? Uh, once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr., the Ball Sports Network. Continue to hit the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks once again for watching. We're continuing to bring out content. Peace.